2023 has been a momentous year for my wife and I. In early January, we had just lost our little dog, Jeannie. We were living in a rented apartment and neither one of us had a driver's license. After a year and a half of living in Spain, we still had a lot to work out. But now, as the year comes to a close, we're living our dream. I'd like to tell you how the benefits of OMAD helped us overcome the obstacles in our path. So stick around, you don't wanna miss anything. Hi, my name is Juan Sarmiento. I have been on one meal a day, on and off, since November of 2009, and every day of my life since 2018. Now, after two and a half years, we are installed in our home, in one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen in my many travels. This year, we completed our adjustment. Now, I would like to share our story with you. But first, be sure to subscribe to this channel and give a like to this video. Be sure to click on the bell to be notified of my videos to come. In January, we had every reason to be concerned. The delivery of our home had been delayed for a few months, even though we had already committed more than 10% of the price of the project. We were in a rental unit near Malaga, and our home was being built in Alicante province. We decided to take a look at the house to make sure that the property was completed properly. What we saw was disappointing. We finally had a closing date for February the 8th, but in January, the house was not the turnkey finished as we had expected when we first made an offer. We still had to finish the yard and the entrance to the house. Inside, we needed to put light fixtures in every room and buy suitable furniture. In addition, there was a long list of unfinished, broken or substandard items that we needed to fix as well. We didn't even have an internet connection. Meanwhile, we made the decision to travel to Finland and had our driver's license from California exchanged to Finnish licenses. The exchange could not be done in Spain. Fortunately, Kula is a Finnish citizen, but we needed to travel to Finland twice to complete the extensive formalities necessary for the exchange. Even that turned out to be easier than the requirements to obtain a Spanish driver's license as an American citizen. By the closing date, we had purchased the basic furniture we needed to move in. Most of the furniture we had needed to be assembled by ourselves. We lived the first few nights with a couple of lamps. But within two weeks, all the light fixtures had been installed. It took another two weeks to find an internet provider who had to do a number of modifications so that we and our neighbors could have Wi-Fi and cable TV. But the toughest part was yet to come. Between February and May, we looked for contractors that would finish up the entrance to our home. We had to surround the property with a concrete area to protect the foundation of the house against water leakage. The guys we contracted finished the concrete job, but didn't finish removing the rubble from our yard. We waited for five weeks and then decided to dispose of it ourselves so that we could get on with the landscaping. We packed six bags of 600 kilograms each with the rubble. Only then did the contractors haul the rubble away. We decided to do the landscaping ourselves. Disgusted with contractors and their delays, we purchased the stones and succulent plants we needed. It turns out we needed 8,400 kilograms of stones and dozens of succulent plants to cover the surface of our yard. The yard was hard as rock, so we had to use a pickaxe to plant anything. This was a festivous feat of strength, in reference to the Seinfeld sitcom. It took us three weeks, but we did the whole job, just the two of us, working from 7 to 10 a.m. 
as the summer approached. In the end, we were very happy and proud that our vision turned into a reality. The three hours of work every day were hot and exhausting, but we still had our regular working day. For me, making videos and trading in the stock market, and for Ula, writing her books. We reinitiated our hiking in our beautiful mountain surroundings and explored what we could without our driver's licenses. Summer came and we made it a routine to go to the beach in Benidorm once or twice a week. We began to see how lucky we really were to have chosen this area as our home. Every morning, just about, we are blessed with a gorgeous sunrise and I use my balcony to do my calisthenics and enjoy the rising sun. My multiple languages have come handy in a neighborhood full of international people. My success in arranging the internet connection for everybody had to do with my command of Spanish. For these reasons, my neighbor selected me president of the Homeowners Association. This is great because I get to sharpen my negotiation and polyglot skills. We had to wait until September to finally receive our driver's license. And guess what we did? We took off in a transcontinental car driving tour from Spain to Finland and back passing through a total of 15 different countries in 19 days. We finally got to do what we dreamed of doing when we first decided to move to Europe. We even got to visit Schomburg Palace in Vienna, which was on our pocket list and attend a Mozart and Strauss concert there. How did OMAD help me out this year? The benefit of OMAD include the production of ketones to provide energy that is far superior than glucose for muscles heart, and brain. It also triggers the production of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BTNF, which improves cognition and positively affects mood. So both my wife and I accomplished the task we set out for ourselves. At our age, most people are settled into a routine. Both Ula and I were undertaking adventures people rarely do. Undoubtedly, being of sound mind, positive mood, and physical stamina helped us accomplish all the goals we set for ourselves this year. This year is another example of how OMAD has changed our lives. We continue to be in excellent health, and now we have adapted to a new life in the old continent. I can see how learning multiple languages can make life more enjoyable and interesting. I also found that you can accomplish just about anything when you are strong and fit. No matter how challenging my destiny is, I can say today more than ever that life is looking up. Thank you.